as uh, dear students of 9th standard i welcome you all in the name of lord jesus to listen and understand the lesson matter around us nowadays we are discussing about uh, matter around us in our science book uh, unit 10 which is a chemistry portion so already we learn what is matter that is the substance which has mass and occupies space also we learn the classification of matter based on chemical composition pure substance and the impure substance also we learn what is an element the elements are simplest tiny particles which are the building blocks of all materials an atom the smallest particle take part in chemical reaction molecule smallest unit which can exist independently and compounds are the substances formed because of the combination of two or more elements like cane sugar glucose also we have discussed about the difference between elements and compounds mixtures which are all impure substances which contain two or more kinds of elements or compound physically mixed together in any ratio example sugar and water and air is also a mixture then differences between compounds and mixture compounds a single substance mixtures contain two or more substances then types of mixture homogeneous and heterogeneous mixture homogeneous means components cannot be seen separately but in heterogeneous components can be seen separately and also we learn the separation methods of mixtures for example sublimation sublimation is nothing but the direct change of solid to gas without attaining the liquid state example camphor so this type of uh, process can be used to sublime volatile substance using the final experiment then also method of separation of substance from mixtures we are discussing about the sublimation centrifugation separating funnel distillation fractional distillation and the chromatography so centrifuge is the process by which a fine insoluble solids from solid liquid mixture can be separated using the machine centrifuge and next is solvent extraction is used to separate two immiscible liquids oil and water kerosene and water can be separated using separating funnel then simple distillation it is a combination of process evaporation and condensation and this is used to, to separate like sea water which contain dissolved salt so pure water can be obtained from brine solution then fractional distillation this is to separate two or more miscible liquids which do not differ much in their boiling point that is a boiling point difference is less than 25 kelvin mean we can use this fractional distillation method example to distill alcohol to separate different gases from the air then chromatography based on the principle of absorption and adsorption absorption and adsorption then paper chromatography is given here to separate the different dyes in the blanking black ink because black ink contain three different dyes 
and solution solution is a homogeneous mixture of two or more substance and uh, solid plus solvent gives solution solid plus solvent gives solution and types of solution based on the particle size that we have discussed that is a true solution colloidal solution and suspension in true solution particle size is less than 10 power minus 7 centimeter and uh, colloidal 10 power minus 7 centimeter to 10 power minus 5 here greater than 10 power minus 5 in the suspension then here a colloidal solution is a heterogeneous mixture containing two phases dispersed phase and dispersion medium for example here two important terms are given what is called brownian moment brownian moment and Tyndall effect so the brownian moment is nothing but it is a simple phenomenon by which colloidal particles are continuous random motion the colloidal particles are continuous random motion this is called a brownian moment and this was observed by robert brown robert brown he observed the motion of the particle in suspension of pollen grains in water he observed the motion of the particles in suspension of pollen grains in water and what is called a tyndall effect this is a brownian movement and tyndall effects are takes place only in colloidal solution so tyndall effect is nothing but this is a type of phenomenon by which colloidal particles scatter light the phenomenon by which colloidal particles scatter light is called tyndall effect and uh, this uh, tyndall effect is not absorbed in case of true solution it is only in colloidal solution because in true solution the particle size is very very small and negligible in size then example the beam of light coming from headlight of vehicle is due to tyndall effect also the blue color of the sky all these are because of the scattering of light by atmospheric particles this is the reason for the the blue color of uh, sky based on the tyndall effect then next now we are going to discuss about the different between the types of solution so there are uh, three types of solution that is uh, uh, suspension colloidal solution and uh, the last column it is given solution that is uh, actually true solution so you have tried true solution difference between type of solution first column property second column suspension third column colloidal solution fourth column true solution T R U E true solution. So particle size is greater than 100 nanometer in suspension in colloidal 1 to 100 nanometer, but in the true solution less than 100 nanometer. And uh, the separation filtration method is possible in suspension because suspension the particles are very larger in size, so we can use uh, filtration method to separate the particle. But colloidal it is not possible and true solution also uh, negligible the particle size is very very negligible settling of particles in suspension the particles are settled down but here colloidal particle it will not easily settle you have to use centrifuge to settle the particle here in the true solution particles will not settle because the particles are uniformly distributed in the solvent then appearance that is uh, in the suspension the solution is going to appear like uh, opaque that is uh, it is not able to seen through the solution it is not able to seen the appearance of uh, colloidal solution that is uh, translucent translucent that means uh, allowing light to pass through partially translucent means allowing the light rays to pass through partially that is called a uh, semi transparent but the solution true solution that uh, light rays can 
pass through easily tendal effect is possible in suspension also colloidal solution but it is not possible in the true solution and diffusion of uh, particles that means uh, the action of spreading over the wide area that is the intermingling of substances with the natural movement of their particles diffusion mean the intermingling of substances with the natural movement of their particles so here no diffusion but in the colloidal slowly diffuse and the uh, true solution the particles are rapidly diffuse brownian movement sometime may be possible in the suspension and it is uh, 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 possible only in colloidal solution so colloidal solution show the brownian movement and it is not also possible in the true solution and nature of the solution suspension is heterogeneous mixture heterogeneous and uh, colloidal solution also heterogeneous but uh, true solution is homogeneous mixture the particles are uniformly distributed then and see the latin word meaning to milk milk is one example of uh, emulsion next the next topic we are going to study about emulsion see now uh, here see it is given uh, next topic uh, uh, emulsion emulsion is a, a special kind of uh, colloids emulsion is a, a special kind of colloid it is uh, it means uh, dispersion of uh, tiny droplets of one liquid in another liquid emulsion is nothing but dispersion of tiny droplets of one liquid and another liquid so it is also given definition an emulsion is a colloid of two or more immiscible liquid where one liquid is disposed in another liquid so that, that, that is the definition you have to note down an emulsion is colloid of two or more immiscible liquids where one liquid is disposed in another liquid and what is the meaning of this this mean one type of liquid particles scattered on another liquid one type of liquid scattered on another liquid also in other form we can see emulsion is a special type of mixture made by combining two liquids but actually those liquids are normally don't mix so we are mixing two liquids one with other so the word emulsion come from the latin word meaning milk milk is one example of an emulsion of fat and water so in milk fat along with water is distributed the process of turning a liquid mixture into an emulsion is called emulsification what is emulsification the process of turning a liquid mixture into an emulsion the process of turning a liquid mixture into an emulsion is called emulsification example milk butter cream egg yolk paint car syrup facial cream pesticides etc are example of emulsions then types of emulsion there are uh, two types of emulsion two liquid mix can form different types of emulsion for example oil and water can form oil and water emulsion so first type is oil in water emulsion two types first one oil in water emulsion that is o bar w example green oil in water the next one see where the oil droplets are dispersed in water uh, they can form water in oil emulsion so second type is water in oil emulsion water in oil emulsion first type oil in water emulsion example green second type water in oil emulsion example butter then next one see emulsion find wide application in food processing pharmaceutical metallurgy and many other important industries also it is going to see more to know have you seen colorful patches on wet road when oil droplets and water on road mm-hmm. it pours over water and form colorful films find out the way you see 
that they are going to form a type of emulsion and also because of this uh, uh, scattering of light rays, uh, scattering of light rays, this type of uh, colorful films are formed. And also some questions are given here say that uh, why the whole milk is uh, white, why milk is white, see and already given see milk is nothing but it is uh, a type of uh, emulsification that is uh, the fat and water, milk contain fat and water, milk contain fat and water and milk is white because it reflects all wavelength of uh, visible light the white uh, uh, reflects all wavelength of light this is the reason due to the chemical composition of milk and size of the particle contained in it then why ocean is uh, blue this is also because uh, the ocean looks blue because the a long wavelength lights like red, orange are strongly absorbed by water. Ocean looks blue because the long wavelength light like red, orange, yellow are strongly absorbed by sea water. And the short wavelength blue is, it is not strongly absorbed by sea water. So it returns back. So because of this reason the uh, ocean is blue, the sky is also appeared blue in color. Then sun, why sun looks yellow when it's really not? Actually sun uh, is going to be white because uh, this is a mixture of all wavelength of uh, visible spectrum radiation. So our atmosphere scatter shorter to bigger wavelength color from sunlight when white light travel through it so the it scatter violet and blue colors leaving yellow sunlight so the violet and blue colors are scattered leaving yellow this is the reason why uh, sky is blue and sunlight is yellow sky is blue and sunlight is yellow and because of scattering of uh, light by the uh, atmospheric particles, scattering of light uh, by atmospheric, this is the type of uh, uh, colloidal solution, so scattering take place and uh, this is like a Tyndall effect, Tyndall effect. So, so my dear students and uh, uh, the first lesson, this lesson is uh, over and we have to discuss about the uh, question answers uh, see uh, you have to note down and write a question answer in your uh, classwork you have to put a classwork I can write physics and chemistry in same classwork or if you have notebook you can write separate notebook also or in one notebook physics from one side and uh, from the other side uh, from when you're going to invert the notebook uh, from the other side you can write chemistry but you have to write classwork when we are calling you have to come and produce it see the first one see in the textbook evaluation the separation of a denser particle from lighter particle done by rotation at high speed is called a centrifugation so the centrifugation is pro uh, process uh, this is used to, to separate the fine particles then among the following dash is a mixture juice is a mixture juice is a mixture remains are a, a com compound common salt is compound carbon dioxide is compound pure silver it is also a pure substance then when we mix a drop of ink in water we get homogeneous mixture then dash is essential to perform separation by solvent extraction method the solvent extraction method is used to separate uh, 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 it is uh, a separating funnel separating funnel and fifth one that is uh, dash has the same properties throughout the sample only pure substance pure substance the elements of the pure substance having the same property then state whether true or false 
if the statement is false you have to write false and rewrite the correct statement so oil and water are immiscible in each other that is a true, uh, true statement then a compound cannot be broken into simpler substance chemically so uh, compound not physically separated but chemically it is possible to separate so you have tried it is a false statement a compound can be broken into simpler substance chemically then liquid liquid colloids are called gels that is also a false statement a liquid solid liquid solid colloids are called gels then fourth one buttermilk is an example of heterogeneous mixture that is a true one then aspirin composed of 60% of carbon 4.5% of hydrogen 35.5% of oxygen with mass so oxygen is a aspirin aspirin is a uh, mixture so aspirin is a compound it is not a mixture so it is a false statement because uh, the components are combined in the fixed ratio by mass the components are combined in fixed ratio by mass then uh, phillips the uh, match uh, third one element element is a pure substance compound made up of atoms colloid colloid made up of uh, uh, molecules and suspension set, settle down on standing mixture mixture that is uh, uh, impure substance impure substance then fill in the blanks dash is a mixture has no distinguishable boundary between its components so a yeah, homogeneous so you have to write in the blank homogeneous homogeneous mixture has no distinguishable boundary an example of substance that sublime is uh, ammonium chloride camphor naphthalene then alcohol can be separated from water by fractional distillation fractional distillation method in petroleum refining the method of separation used is fractional distillation fractional distillation chromatography is based on the principle of different solubility different solubilities different solubilities the next is uh, differentiate between absorption and absorption sublimation and for all these answers for all these question you go to write the answer by collecting answer from the uh, textbook and also i post answer for this uh, uh, evaluation textbook exercises from letter 5 6 7 so you have to write in class work and at the, at the same time prepare all the answer and uh, be thorough about the first lesson matter around us and uh, you will be given test after uh, some time so get ready go through the lesson prepare well uh, we will see the next lesson in the next session wish you all the best thank you